a lot of the songs I write are actually written first on my phone. Hey baby, it's okay. I wanna see you at my game. What's up everybody, I'm John John, aka Jonathan Miller. As a songwriter, a common question I get is, what is my songwriting process? Where the hell does that shit come from? I don't know about everybody else, but my inspiration can literally come from anything. For example, I wrote my song Shadow House while playing The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. When you're locked up in a shadow house. And I wrote my song Marionette in a hot tub. No, Marionette's inspiration did not come from the hot tub, but that's where I wrote it. Inspiration can come from like TV shows like Glee or classes that I might take, and of course, other electropop icons. Usually my songs start out with like a word or a phrase that I might hear that just has a certain ring to it. And it might be a phrase I hear all the time, but in that specific moment or on that specific day, it just kind of sticks out. And over the course of, God, maybe over a thousand songs that I've written, you just kind of hear it. It's hard to describe, but if you're a writer, I think you know what I'm talking about. After I sort of hear that word or phrase, I can kind of already picture if the song is going to be up-tempo or slow. And because I typically write dance music, most likely it's gonna be up-tempo. From there, two things can happen. Either I'll go and just write the rest of the lyrics and kind of form the melody and I'm a very organized person so I typically go verse, chorus, verse, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Or I'll head over to like GarageBand or something and kind of dinker around with music and kind of come up with sounds and then, you know, the song may go in a completely different direction from what I thought. It just depends on where I am and what the feel is. A lot of the songs I write are actually written first on my phone. The chorus is usually the central theme for the song, and so that's usually where that specific phrase or word will find its way in there. Now that's not always the case, but more often than not, that's where that little phrase or word sneaks its way in. After I've written like the basics, the verses, the chorus, the bridge, B section if it's necessary, music, from there, I actually walk away. I give my brain some time to think about the song in the back of my head because I found if I'm still thinking about the song a couple days later, that lets me know that's a song I should probably continue to tweak and make sure it's perfect. If I kind of forget about it, more often than not, that's a song that's forgetful, and we don't want those. Especially in pop music where it's all about hooks and being catchy and reeling you in, reeling you in, reeling you in. At that point, if I really am liking the song and it's still stuck in my head and I'm still thinking about it, then I'm like, okay, this song needs to be recorded. So then I'll go to my studio and I'll record vocals in GarageBand and maybe I'll do a separate video on what my studio process is, but that's typically where that happens. Recording my vocals can take either hours or a couple days, or there's a song I'm working on right now that's actually taken me a couple months. Mostly because, you know, my voice wasn't working in the past couple of months, but that's beside the point. And if that song is still good after all of that, then I outsource my mastering, which is basically making all the levels 100% clean and crisp and the song is done. It's pretty much a simple process, but explaining it always makes it sound way more difficult. And I don't know if that's because I've just been so automated to it now, but whatever. So that is my songwriting process. For all you writers out there, what is your process? Where do you get inspiration from? Leave me a comment below letting me know. So that's gonna be it this week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And if you're like me and want music that helps you escape the boringness of life, you can check out my music in the links below. And as always, don't forget that you can sign up to become a VIP Jonathan Miller family member, which gives you direct access to me, free music to dance to in your bedroom, discounts at my merchandise store, and lots of other cool shit. So make sure you sign up. Link is also in the description below. All right, you guys, that's going to be it this week. I will see you next time. Matane! You're locked in a shadow house.